the key priority that I actually wanted to achieve was my brother just simply being able to do things with me and be involved in the things that I do so we can both achieve things together. <laughs> Clubhouse was created to have opportunities for persons with autism in Trinidad and Tobago. Hey there, welcome to Raoul's Clubhouse. So we offer a wide range of services from education and therapy to sports to music to drama and so much more other services here. So here we have our sensory room. It's still in the developmental stages. We have now started, but so far for the month of February, we have had 50 one-on-one -on -one sessions, which are one-hour sessions for persons with autism in which they were able to come in and have access to opportunities. And I think that that has been wonderful. As you can see, the lights are dimmed, and that's because persons on the autism spectrum can have hypersensitivity if the lights are too bright. So we want them to feel calm and safe in this environment. So for two of the rooms at Raoul's Clubhouse, we would like it to be sensory rooms and then for one of the other rooms, we'd like it to be a playroom. This is our sensory playroom. This room they can come to in the instance that they just want to be away from any persons. They can come here and feel relaxed till they are okay. We would like to reach a wider range of persons on the spectrum. By next year at the same time, I'm pretty sure we'll be so much developed and we'll have so much more things happening. This is our playroom. At our playroom, they doodle on our mats, they play on the floor, and they also do craft activities as well as story reading and build puzzles in this room. Maroon chair. M-A-R-O-O-N-C-H-A-I-R Chair, yeah. Blue Sky, B-L-U-E-S-K-Y, Blue Sky. My brother is actually my biggest motivation. He is the best thing that has ever happened to me. He's the most loving and most funniest person you'll ever meet. And even though he cannot communicate with me verbally, we understand each other. We understand everything that we do. And we're so close that we do so many things together. At 12 years old, I realized that my brother and I, we weren't really doing much things together. So we're just one year apart and I realized that he wouldn't go to school like I would or when it is I would go to the movies or the park, he wouldn't be able to do so as well. I would be with him for his autism diagnosis. I would be with him when he was there for his therapy sessions for speech and developmental therapy. So I wanted to create those opportunities for him so he can be included and involved in things that we can both do together. I remember the first few years. In 2015, um, I actually started, it was five cousins and myself. That was the first ever autism fun day that we held in April because April is Autism Awareness Month. So we would be wrapping our presents at home in my room and we would just load them up in the vehicles right after so we could take them to the event. For our first Christmas party, I involved my friends at school because I wanted them to be able to meet my brother and other persons on the autism spectrum and I wanted them to be involved and learn more about autism. So they started volunteering as well and it flashed before my eyes our autism siblings and friends network it just began growing. Um, we have had so many persons from Tr Trinidad and Tobago um, inquiring about volunteering with us. The persons that I have met they have always been really supportive and they have been really nice to me. However if you want to consider challenges like persons staring at my brother in public those are things that persons with autism and their families face on a daily basis. I may not have experienced it and my family may not have experienced it but I know of family members who have they would be um, traveling in the bus or the maxi taxi and other people who are on there would be like you know why are you traveling with your child you know slap them tell them um, behave themselves I would tell them okay you know he has autism this is what autism is um, this is my NGO you know you could go check us out on Facebook or Instagram if it is you're at school and you hear someone saying something bad about 
a person with a disability, I think that you should step in and correct them. Say, no, this is not the case. Being different does not make them less of a person. Being a part of the Queen's Commonwealth Trust, um, it has allowed me to meet other persons, other change makers out there in the world. Um, you see them tackling issues such as poverty, healthcare, education, and it motivates me to continue doing what I am doing because they are the same age group as me. And I feel like just being a part of that network and seeing the amazing things that they do will continue to push me into doing what I do. And being a part of the Diana Award, I've received my award in 2020. Um, I have been a part of their network as well and they offer developmental training for us all the time, all through the year. And those things um, allow me to further my skills and development in different topics that I can use with the organization and also teach my members of the organization these skills so they can use it moving forward. Education must start within the primary school sector and the preschool sector. Once we educate them from that age, I think a big difference can happen because they'd grow up hearing these things and by the time they are prime minister and ministers, change can happen at a national level because they would have been growing up in an inclusive society and they'd want to create difference in their society. 